in this video I would like to show you how to tune the guitar now this is a very important thing because you don't want to play uh, with your guitar out of tune I mean that's not gonna take you anywhere it's gonna sound awful so you don't want that you want to tune your guitar every time you start practicing so every day before you play you tune your guitar and sometimes if you hear that the guitar goes out of tune while you're playing you will have to adjust it that's just the way guitar is with the piano you do it every so often and with a keyboard you will never do it properly because keyboards are like that but guitar it's made of wood it's made of strings and metal and it gets um, off tune very very quickly so yeah, I've got my um, pipe, my pitch pipe, and uh, basically it is actually a quite easy way of tuning your guitar because what happens is that um, you've got uh, this specific one has got six different uh, pitches that I can uh, blow and get, and they represent the six strings. But let's first learn what are they. So from the bottom string, the thicker string which is this one, we call it bottom because it's a lower sounding string compared to the higher one, which is the first one. So six, uh, the sixth string over here, it's our E string. Then the fifth one will be the A string. You see we're going higher in pitch. The fourth one is a D. The third one is a G. The second one is a B. The first one is a E again. And as you can see, we went from very low to very high. Okay. Now the uh, the pipe here gives us uh, the sixth string, and all you need to do is to match the two sounds by, you know, releasing. You release this way, or by tightening the pitch. Okay, the string. So if I now it's in tune, but now I do lose it a bit. You can hear that my guitar it's lower in relationship to the speech. So all I need to do is actually to tighten it up. So let me do that. You see, I brought the pitch of the guitar to match the pitch of the pipe. And that's what you need to do for every single string unless obviously you're using um, electronic tuner which I show on um, uh, YouTube you can go and have a look and that's uh, um, also very easy but sometimes you would like to have tools like this lying around so that they help you also develop you here a little bit another way of doing it is through a metronome um, or any kind of source uh, you can have maybe a piano and they give you the A it is the, the traditional way of doing it uh, they give you the A or now the, this tuner, uh, this metronome is giving me the A and I'm just need to be able to get on here we go now this is the A which is your fifth string now obviously you need to match the two sounds by tightening or releasing the string, the fifth string. Once that is done, well, you know that the A string is in tune, okay, to an A. Now, you will have to tune all the other strings to the A, and how do you do that? Well, let me show you quickly. It's quite simple. All you need to do is to go to the fifth fret of your guitar, and normally on the fifth fret, uh, um, you've got uh, the second dot. Can you see? So you will press uh, the fifth string, and that will give you a D note. Okay, I'm telling you that, and that's the truth. So that's a D note. So what you need to do, you need to now tune the fourth string to that note that I'm giving you. So. You see, in this case, they are in tune because I tuned my guitar before. But if not, you will have to match by pulling and by releasing the strings um, the two sounds. Now, let's say that I, I, the, the two notes are not the same. I did um, um, increase the pitch on the on the fourth string. So now I need to make the match. So I need to um, gather by here if uh, the D string is higher or lower 
compared to the A string pressed on the fifth because now that's the real D that's the D that you want to get so you need to decide is that lower or higher compared to that well it is higher all I need to do is I need to match them now the same principle applies for the fifth uh, for the fourth string because you did now tune the fourth string and the string is in tune now you need to ch uh, tune the the G string the third string and all you need to do you need to go again on the fifth fret of the fourth string this time and make sure that the third string matches the pitch that you're pressing on the fourth string and they do match because obviously I tuned before but again you will have to work on that then uh, when it comes to uh, the B string we have, we need to go now on the fourth fret of the third string and that will give us the tune that it's supposed to be on the second string and I make sure that they do match and eventually I need to now tune the first string and I go again on the fifth fret of the second and make sure that those two matches match and then uh, because the first and the sixth string are both E's sorry, I need to match them well, obviously the first one it's a higher pitch than um, the lowest one but the principle is the same the two pitch need to match and now we've got a guitar that is in tune this is a simple uh, uh, process you will see it sounds a little bit complicated right now but it's actually quite simple the only thing is that you actually need to get used to um, deciding uh, whether this the string is too tight or too loose whether to tighten or whether to lose the string but that's uh, just a matter of practice and it's very important for you to get eventually to a place where you can do this quite easily